The double sideband modulation and the conventional amplitude modulation, which is a double sideband with carrier, are not spectrally efficient because the bandwidth of the modulated signal is twice the bandwidth of the modulating signal, the signal with information that we are transmitting. The reason for this lack of efficiency is in the double sideband. There are two sidebands and each sideband has uh, the same bandwidth than the modulating signal. In this video, we are going to introduce the single sideband modulation. In this modulation, the bandwidth of the modulated signal is equal to the bandwidth of the information, the bandwidth of the modulating signal. Um, to obtain this spectral efficiency, one of the two sidebands that we have in a double sideband modulated signal is removed. The simplest way to obtain a single sideband modulation is by means of direct filtering. First, a double sideband modulation is generated by multiplying the, the modulating signal with a carrier, usually with, that, with uh, twice the amplitude that we have in a conventional double sideband modulation, and then one of the two sidebands is removed by means of a band pass filter. If the frequencies that are removed are the frequencies below the carrier frequency, we have the upper sideband variant. And if the frequencies that are removed are the frequencies above the carrier frequency, what we have is the lower sideband variant. Here we have a visual example in the frequency domain. This is the frequency response of the modulating signal. First, we generate a double sideband with double amplitude. Here we can see that we have two sidebands, so the bandwidth is twice the bandwidth of the modulating signal. And now, by filtering, one of the sidebands is removed. If the frequencies that are removed are the frequencies below omega c, we have an upper sideband modulation. If the frequencies that are removed are the frequencies above omega c, we have a lower sideband modulation. The name corresponds, the name of the variant corresponds to the sideband that is kept. Upper sideband, lower sideband. If we are uh, considering the bandwidth of these modulated signals, now it's straightforward to see that the bandwidth of this signal and the bandwidth of this signal is equal to the bandwidth of the modulating signal. In this case, W radians per second. It is important to remark that in a single sideband, uh, there is all the necessary information to recover at the receiver the modulating signal. The recovery is uh, made by using a coherent or synchronous receiver. Here we will see in the frequency domain a visual example of the behavior of this kind of receiver. This is the frequency response of a modulating signal with bandwidth W radians per second. Here we generate the upper sideband modulated signal and, and in the coherent receiver, the, the received signal is multiplied with a cosine and then we have a low pass filter of this product with the cosine. If this is the received signal, the product with the cosine will produce two replicas of this frequency response shifted. One is shifted minus omega c and has half of the previous amplitude and the other one also with half of the previous amplitude is shifted plus omega c and what we have after the product with the cosine is the addition of these two replicas here in baseband we have an scaled version of the frequency response of the modulating signal and the low pass filter removes these two components 
Note that the two components that are removed, in fact, are another single sideband modulated signal, in this case with twice the carrier frequency. This is an example for the upper sideband variant, and something similar happens for the lower sideband variant. The frequency response of the modulating signal, the lower sideband uh, variant, the spectrum is the part of the spectrum, the sideband below omega c, the product with the cosine, two shifted replicas to minus omega c and to plus omega c, and the addition of these two shifted replicas is what we have after the product with the cosine. We have a, a replica, a scaled replica of the frequency response of the modulating signal in baseband and in bandpass, the terms that will be removed by the low pass filtering, we have another lower sideband modulated signal with twice the carrier frequency.